Good morning, dear students. This is Sandhya, Assistant Professor of Botany, Maharani Science College for Women, Mysore. Today, I am dealing with the topic Botanical Gardens. This comes under Plant Taxonomy of Final Year B.Sc. 5th Sem Syllabus of the University of Mysore. So now, Botanical Gardens. Why should we study about Botanical Gardens? Because it is considered as a taxonomical aid. Now, what is the use of taxonomical aids? Taxonomical aids are tools which help in the classification and identification of organisms. Botanical gardens, herbaria, etc. are all considered as taxonomical aids. When we do the taxonomical study of an individual, we understand its diversity. When we come to know of the different species of plants, it helps us in agriculture, what to grow, what not, etc. So, what is taxonomy all about? It is the characterization, identification, classification and nomenclature of organisms, here plants, which helps us to know about their diversity, use in agriculture, forestry, bioresources, etc. Now, garden. Garden is a place for growing flowering plants, fruits, vegetables, etc. It's a means of recreation, a center for aesthetic beauty. Aesthetic beauty means a beautiful place. It may be owned by an individual or an organization. That is a garden, a normal garden, any park or garden, whatever you see. So that is a place for growing flowering plants, uh, fruits, may, fruits may be grown, vegetables may be grown, recreation for relaxation, for the beauty of that place, we may go to the garden. Now botanical garden is different. Botanical garden is a place where plants of different kinds and varieties collected from various parts of the country and the world are grown in a scientific and systematic manner. Or a botanical garden can also be called as a garden which is dedicated to the collection, cultivation, preservation and display of wide range of plants labelled with their botanical names. Means we collect different plants from all over the world, we cultivate them in this garden. In the meantime, it is also preserved there and we also display wide range of plants. The plants are all displayed there and how they are displayed? They have their botanical names labeled on them, their classification. So, a botanic garden functions as an institution for scientific activities as a place of aesthetic value to bring awareness in general public about plants. A botanical garden is a living collection of plants. All the plants are growing over there. So it is a living collection of plants under scientific management. It has been managed scientifically for purposes of education and research. And it also has along with it libraries, herbaria, laboratories, museums, etc. A botanical garden should have a collection of different varieties of cultivated plants like ornamental plants, for example, roses, dahlias, poppies, cannas, lilies, orchids, etc. Medicinal plants, plants of medicinal value. Plants of economic value, the plants which we use in our day-to-day -day life. Plants of certain geographic formations. Geographic formations means what? Desert plants. So the conditions which are present in the desert are given to these plants here. Alpine plants, marshy plants, aquatic plants, etc. <coughs> Weeds. Weeds are also grown and their methods of control. And plants mentioned in classical and religious literature. So, Sahitya in the books, 
in the religious books whatever plants are mentioned such plants may also be grown here the state flowers national flowers etc botanical garden should have a morphological or biological garden why to display seed dispersal and physiological processes in plants a genetics or breeding garden to display the laws of heredity and horticultural hybrids a taxonomic or systematic garden to display plant families it should have an arboretum where trees are grown tree species are grown a place where only trees are grown is called as an as a arboretum a fruticetum means a place where fruit plants are grown and also a section devoted to economic plants and there should also be a greenhouse for propagating and cultivating delicate plants and nurseries so as i told you botanic garden should be an institution for botanical research having herbarium library art and photographic studios lecture pavilion and recreational facilities so overall they act as outdoor laboratories for students and researchers now coming to the role or functions of botanic garden the role of botanic garden is to introduce raise and acclimatize wide variety of global trees shrubs herbs climbers and these may be ornamental medicinal and other plants of economic values so if the botanical garden is in a tropical country the tropical gardens will need also an indoor growing space which are called as screen houses or glass houses or green houses for specific plants the botanical gardens should develop certain geographic formations as i told you earlier like desert plants alpine plants marshy plants aquatic plants etc botanic gardens should conduct exploration floristic studies means study of plants of a particular area the flora of a particular area so floristic studies and research in plant taxonomy and other related disciplines so the garden should also integrate the research projects to incorporate information obtained from related branches which are all the related branches in botany anatomy embryology ecology cytology phytochemistry physiology etc all the research in all these branches should be integrated in research projects in plant taxonomy with the help of research laboratories garden should maintain a herbarium as a record of plants to access identification for those who need it botanical gardens should provide information of local flora for use in the preparation of monographs botanical gardens supply seeds and material plant material for botanical investigations supply living plant resources for research in systematics horticulture ecology genetics etc botanical gardens provide information on the protection of endangered species and also propagation of rare plants big botanical gardens also train the students by providing them labs classroom greenhouse nursery library etc botanical gardens conduct courses in local flora horticulture hybridization plant propagation etc their educational programs include workshops training sessions conferences seminars popular lectures flower shows and such things for teachers students and naturalists they provide instructions for home gardening and care of plants in winter and summer and also provide aesthetically pleasing environment which contributes to sound mental health now the major botanic gardens of the world 
800 important ones are documented in International Directory of Botanical Gardens published by Henderson in 1983 now there are 1775 botanical gardens and arboreta in 148 countries around the world with many more under construction some of the major ones are royal botanic gardens in kew london Singapore Botanic Gardens in Singapore, Jardim Botanico in Brazil, Arctic Alpine Botanical Garden in Norway, Kirstenbosch National Botanical Garden, South Africa, etc. Now these are a few pictures of the Royal Botanical Botanic Garden, Kew Garden in England, London, England. The first picture is the Alto Botanico of Pisa operated by the University of Pisa the first university botanic garden in Europe established in 1544 under botanist Luca Ghini These are other botanic gardens all around the world Now th this is a slide showing botanic gardens and their year of establishment you can go through it there are many botanic gardens all over the world <coughs> which year they were established now these are some important botanic gardens of the world in alphabetical order starting from australia it goes up to russia these are all the botanic gardens in india you can see here it is mentioned three are mentioned indian botanic garden in howra kolkata lloyd botanic garden in darjeeling and national botanic gardens of lucknow these are some important ones in india there are many more so this is still uganda so all the botanic gardens now these are the botanic gardens of india so indian botanic garden as i told you of howrah kolkata botanical garden saharanpur uttar pradesh lal bag botanical garden of bangalore you all must be quite familiar of this government botanical gardens ooty <coughs> this also many of you would have gone tropical botanic garden in trivandrum lloyd botanic garden in sibpur in darjeeling botanic garden of fri forest research institute of dehradun jawaharlal nehru botanical garden of gangtok national botanic garden of lucknow and botanic garden at bark baba atomic research center which is located in trombe mumbai so these are a few botanical gardens of india so this finishes our topic botanical gardens these are the references you can go through